Hey guys, it's Vanessa from NecessaryMakeup.com and I just wanted to do a quick video on the Luminous Airbrush System that I recently received. It comes in three different shades, light, medium, and dark. I got the medium shade. And all the foundations and whatnot are in this box and I'll come back to this box later. I basically just wanted to do a quick video um, just to kind of show you what's in the box in case you were debating whether to get the Luminous Airbrush System or if you're just a makeup artist that's new to airbrush, airbrushing in general and just kind of want to get to know a little bit more about it um, or, what, or what to expect in the box. So when you open it, you'll see that it comes with a Get Started DVD and they suggest that you watch this before you even start playing with your airbrush kit because it has a lot of tips and tricks as well as do's or don'ts. Um, so it's really helpful and it's not very long at all. So you learn a lot and you kind of know you know how to take care of it and just the proper techniques when you know when you're starting to airbrush. It also comes with the Get Started Guide, which I just absolutely love because it's just so well illustrated and it's easy to follow, easy to understand, and it just kind of, you know, just to breeze through, kind of gives you techniques um, such as not keeping the, you know, the airbrush itself um, into a sp onto a specific area for too long to avoid blotchiness. So it's really helpful. Um, and it's definitely something that you probably would like to hold on to, especially if you're new to airbrushing. It kind of gives you pretty much everything you need to know. This is the power adapter kit that actually powers up the air, uh, air compressor. And this empty bottle right here is the airbrush cleaning bottle. And you pretty much just fill it up with water and a little bit of alcohol solution as it says here and you would just add a few drops into the airbrush well um, to clean your airbrush kit after each use to avoid gunk building up in the nozzle that way it prolongs your airbrush system so the actual airbrush as you can see here comes in a very cute um, metallic crocodile looking clutch um, it's pretty long and when you open it up you'll see the actual com compressor and the airbrush let me just take it out for you here and it has an on and off button and it just has one setting so I know that there are another there's another model that has different settings you know one for the eyes one for the face and one for the body uh, but this just has one se one setting, which is kind of ideal for beginners, and it kind of takes the guesswork out of you know you know applying makeup. It pretty much leads you, you know, to have better control of the the system itself. And following the cord here is the actual airbrush nozzle, and you kind of want to hold it like a pen just like so and this is the airbrush well and that's where you would um, put the foundation drops of foundation and they recommend six to eight drops of whatever you're putting in if it's the foundation the primer blush um, or eyeshadow colors that they have and you don't want to pull the nozzle or the trigger too far back um, because that just sprays a lot of makeup all at once and you kind of want to build your coverage. You don't want to have full coverage right away. You slowly just want to build it. So you want to put it, you know, start sheer and build your way up to your desired coverage. And this is the little pinpoint um, nozzle that the foundation comes out of. And it's really easy to use. Um, once you start using it you'll you'll get a hang of it um, I have a I tend to have a heavy hand so sometimes you know you would think that I'd probably pull all the way back but even without touching the nozzle you already start to feel air so you already can kind of gauge what pressure is coming out of the nozzle so just by slowly going back you could already start um, 
you know, spraying the makeup. And if you look on the other side of the gun, I know you probably can't tell because it's kind of like a mirrored finish, but they have score mark lines on here. And you just want to stay in between the first and second line, one and two. And anything past that, you don't want to, um, you know, go near, especially when you're applying foundation makeup. You just want to throttle it all the way back to three when you're cleaning the airbrush system. And when you're cleaning it, you'd put drops of water in here. And then what they call is back bubbling is you're going to gently pull this back all the way to three until you start seeing the water bubble up in here and then you're going to take your finger and cover this and throttle it back to three until it bubbles up that way it clears out um, everything that's in the well so that you you know you don't run into any issues the next time you use it because it's already clean and there's nothing that's blocking the little the little airway right there so that's pretty much the gun itself. And then back to the foundations. And again, like I said, I got medium. It's kind of hard to open with one hand here. And when you open it, you'll see all these. And I'm going to take them out one by one here. The medium kit has three foundations and they're all numbered three five and six and the names are on the website um, but three I believe is golden beige yeah three is golden beige five is fawn and six right over here is Sunkist. Sorry, I had to look up the names. I wanted to make sure that I was getting it right for you guys. Um, and you can definitely mix and match. What they suggest to see which one is your perfect shade is just to put a few drops of each one and spray it on the inside of your arm. And whatever's closest is pretty much your shade. If you fall in between shades, you could definitely mix it up. So you could put, say, three drops of um, five and you know three drops of three uh, to get to your ideal shade. So these are the foundations for the medium. It also comes with the moisturizer and primer, and you definitely want to shake each one. That way, it's well mixed, and you know to avoid any blotchiness of color when you spray. And the primer is something you want to, of course, apply before you put foundation. Kind of gives that nice base canvas. So, you know, kind of gives you that even smooth uh, base to work off of. And then this one is the eyeshadow in 49. And it comes with two eyeshadows. I think the other one was... Um, see here 51 and 49 I don't know the names I checked the website couldn't find any specific names for these numbers but these are the eyeshadows that come in this particular kit and it comes with one blush and this is 2N and I was reading that this suits yellow and olive undertones so this would be ideal for someone like me and I actually tested it out early I'll post pictures on my blog and it actually looked really pretty uh, kind of give like a, ni a nice natural flush to your cheeks. So this is pretty much everything that comes in the kit. And um, I'll be posting more information on my blog. And of course, like I said, I will do another video demonstrating how to use this. But I just wanted to give a quick insight in case any of you were interested in the Luminous Airbrush system and kind of wanted to know what's included, what comes with you know what comes in the box and if you have any other questions just uh, feel free to leave a message or a comment